right. The activity that Nick and I made is called ping ball. In the activity ping pong, you're throwing or dropping a ping pong ball, aiming for a target. So I showed you the target to start. How I made that is just with a, one of the big exercise ball holders, put a parachute on top of that to soften it a little bit, and then a deckering in the middle. So that would be if you want to make more points out of it. So two could be for the deckering if you make it in the middle, one could be if you made it on. And it's just a point system. You can throw as many or bounce as many balls as you want. And you can also modify this for someone in a wheelchair, someone that is in uh, and bouncing it off like a tote with the um, board on top. So it's like a, a stair effect. So I'll show you kind of how it works. Three ping pong balls standing a little bit away from the target. And I'm going to bounce them aiming for the target. So I'm going to bounce it. So that's one point. Bounce it. Got one more point and bounce it. Oh, and that one came bounce back to me. So I got two points because I landed it on the deck ring or on the inside of the deck ring. If I would have made it on the inside, that would have been two points per ball. Now, how I can modify this is I can have a chair. So if I had a chair, I could be sitting down, and all I would have to do is bounce the ball, that one bounce back at me, and bounce the ball, and one more time, and that one made it out. So I got one point on that time. The last way that you could modify is if someone is in a wheelchair and it's hard for them to drop it. I just used a tote and a board that I had, and I'll do it with two balls. So if I'm sitting in a chair, I could bounce it right off the board and onto the target. And that is the activity, ping ball.